Good morning everyone. So I was just out running this morning and I just had a couple of thoughts in the area of the power of investment in people. So mentors and seeking out your mentors and mentoring other people and um, for me, you know, a lot of you know that the area of life I came out of it was quite chaotic so it wasn't going to be a quick fix and and obviously it's it's Jesus that's brought me this this far in a short space of time in nine years but it's it's the people being around me first and foremost obviously like I've said it's Jesus that's done this but my wife obviously has been is always my biggest fan and she's my biggest encourager and if it wasn't for her well I wouldn't be anywhere and my children but the people that God's placed around me to mentor me to disciple me so I've got Pastor Damien, Reverend Elaine Roberts, Ben and Sheila, John and Sheila, Colette. I mean, they're the, they're the main ones that has really, you know, nurtured me over these years and, and equipped me. And, and so I'm just thankful for each and every one of them that's took me on this, this journey, you know. And none of them had any experience in addiction. They weren't drug and alcohol counsellors or anything like that. They just knew how to love and they knew what God had called them to be and that was to equip the body of Christ and so I'm so thankful you know that that through through these people that I found out you know the calling that God had on my life and and them um, and just had the space and the opportunities to to try things you know and and sometimes we get things wrong sometimes we get it right but also to have those questions when we're really struggling that they can just ask us how's your relationship with Jesus going and and that, and you can just pour your heart out to them because there's some things that maybe you can't tell your husband or wife or your your mum or dad or brother or sister in in the blood sense, but um, you can maybe open up to to other people and and so I just want to say I mean even in the Bible we see how Moses invested in Joshua we see that Paul invested in likes of Timothy and other people and raised them up so so it's really important to do that. And, and because they modeled that with me, then I have the heart, you know, to do that to other people and and especially people that have come out of addiction, you know, like God's just really gave me a heart for those sort of people. And and so I just want to encourage you, if, if you don't have anybody in your life that you can have, share your life with, that you can talk these questions with, that you can go over these questions with, I just want to encourage you, like, because... A mentor will not come up to you and say, I feel like God wants me to mentor you, because that would be like a bit of a pride issue. But um, maybe they maybe they are waiting for you to come and ask them. So I just want to give you a little challenge. And if you know, even if you don't know, just pray to God and ask for him to send you what, or to put someone on your heart that you can go and ask. And you will probably know somebody there that you think that you could share that information with. So I just want to give you a little challenge to um, just seek out that mentor. Go and ask somebody and say, look, I'm really struggling this season. Um, could you please just, um, you know, mentor me? You know, I want to I want to be accountable to you and, and things like that. Okay, Father God, we just thank you so much for your love and your grace. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that, that we can go to people, that we can share our intimate secrets with them. We can really pour out our... our our life with Lord Jesus and that they were just lovers and not judges and they were encouragers and they were mentors and they would take us from from strength to strength in you Lord Jesus please help us to seek those people out in Jesus name Amen